So most of you witnessed my first knee injury, which happened in 2017 at Wimbledon. Everyone saw me wipe out. I was in a lot of pain. So what happened there was I ruptured my patellar tendon and my kneecap was dislocated. So my kneecap was up in my quad. And that's kind of why I was freaking out a little bit. Not kind of, I was. And it was super painful. So the last couple months, my knee has been clicking a lot. I've been having a lot of pain in my movement. And I finally got an MRI to see what was going on. And I had this massive plica that was getting behind my kneecap and causing my kneecap to track, not track properly. So long story short, I needed another surgery. This one was way less invasive. It was an orthoscopic procedure. My knee is doing a lot better. It's all about this rehab, listening to my body. We'll see, I'll get out there soon. I haven't walked past the exact court. I did it last year. Like I had a moment, I you know, like sat on the court, like the court and I had a discussion, like we, we we're friends now. Part of it, I had to give myself the space to have that emotion. I feel like I got a lot of it out last year and coming into this year and, and playing on the courts, I really, the knee feels confident. I mean, I've, I've spent so many hours building that trust back. It's not about just building the strength and you know, reducing the swelling and, and letting it heal. It's about mentally trusting that side again, mentally trusting the movement. And I feel like by the time I got here, I'd put in all that training. And right now it's time to, time to trust all that training and just go play. But the knee is feeling really good. It's not making any cover shoots for Vogue magazine. Unfortunately, there's a few scars. <laughs> but um, they're good. I mean, they're, they're memories of another past moment, so I'm not, I'm not ashamed of them or anything, but the knee is feeling great. I'm sure I'll be doing rehab and training for the rest of my life, um, <laughs> but right now I'm really happy with, with the strength I've, I'm feeling in my legs. You know, when we when we spoke last time, I was kind of in the middle of rehab, and it is a challenge. Like I talk about enjoying the moment, and there's times where you have to, you know, as much as I wanted to be competing, that wasn't my moment yet. I had to, you know, enjoy being at home, and I feel like I did. And I'm really glad that even though I wasn't, you know, able to chase my my goals on the court, I still did a lot of things at home. I still had enjoyed myself. I went hung out with friends, family, restaurant, my dog, and I knew that the time for me to be competing would come. So last week was my first tournament since Australian Open, it's almost six months, and I played with Flipkins. So it's one of my good friends on tour. Uh, we have never played together before, so that was our first time on the court, but we had a lot of fun. For me, doubles is so much about the friendship and the communication and coming back after being out for so long I wanted to play with someone that I knew well and uh, Flipkins I made the finals we came close in the in the finals we lost in three sets but it was I was really happy with how my knee felt coming here into Wimbledon obviously I, I love playing here knees feeling good I'm playing with Danielle Collins American player we haven't played doubles before but we're good friends off the court I like keeping that good energy and that good vibe and she's feisty out there I feel like if I'm gonna go into battle with anyone it's gonna be Danielle Collins and then a little bit of mixed doubles with Jamie Murray I'm pumped to play with Jamie obviously we did really well last year at US Open winning the title this year quarterfinals in Australian Open uh, I talked to him a little bit before French because he was asking if I was playing I was like no but sign me up for Wimbledon I said I'm gonna be there 100% so Looking forward to the tournament starting. I really feel like I found my love of the game again. Just love of competing, finding the strategy, and it just dove right in. So here I am, Wimbledon, 2019, let's go. <laughs>